जय बाबा चैप्टर 57 गोपाल अमेदकर वॉज द सन ऑफ नारायण अमेदकर गोपाल वॉज अ फर्म डिवोटी ऑफ साइनाथ ही वॉज डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल इन हिस करियर ही वर्क इन द एक्साइज डिपार्टमेंट विच वॉज अंडर द ब्रिटिश एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इनिशियली ही वॉज पोस्टेड एट थाने डिस्ट्रिक्ट नियर बॉम्बे एंड देन was transferred to a less favorable posting in Jawahar maybe he was not happy with his new transfer who knows but for some reason 10 years after doing his job successfully he resigned and stopped working completely he spent his time at home destiny or planets work in a strange manner and force an individual to take steps that could be counterproductive to one's own well-being After leaving his job things began to get difficult for Gopal from being a senior ranking officer in the excise department he now sat at home without a job and worse with no prospects of getting another decent job It is not that Gopal did not make the effort to find other suitable employment for himself but however hard he strove he achieved no success The more he failed in getting another job the further he slipped into depression and a state of hopelessness Years went by and Gopal's financial situation became desperate His savings ran dry The home scenario became fraught with tension and quarrels It was as though the very heavens above had conspired to go against the poor man All through this time he never lost faith in Baba He suffered without a job for 7 years and he would make a trip to Shirdi and prostrate at the feet of Baba every year. He would cry in front of Baba, pour his heart out and beg for relief. Time and again Baba has emphasized that karma has to play her part and the workings of destiny eventually have to unfold for all. planetary positions align themselves in our astrological chart because of the karmas accumulated in our past lives be they favorable or harsh eventually the actions of our past lives catch up with each individual and position themselves in the form of our planetary chart it was in the year 1916 gopal had arrived in shirdi Not only was the anguish due to his helpless situation and the financial drought being faced by him but there was also severe domestic strife with his wife and family He arrived in Shirdi with the firm resolve of ending his life near Baba He usually stayed in Shirdi for 2 months with his family This time he had decided there was no better place to end his life than in the holy womb of Baba's Shirdi One night he sat on a bullock cart parked in front of Dikshit Wada and his desperation had reached a crescendo his mind was a whirlpool of chaotic and self-destructive thoughts it was on that night when he decided that in a few hours he would put an end to his misery he had also made up his mind as to how he was going to perform the self-destructive action He was going to kill himself by jumping into the well late at night. Nobody would even know that he had disappeared. Nobody would find his body till the next morning. He was certain that by killing himself he would be free from all the pain and suffering that he was going through. Ambedkar was contemplating his next move when a man approached him. This man was the owner of a small eatery. Gopal recognized him as Sagun Naik. Sagun was a strong staunch devotee of Baba. What was he doing approaching Gopal so late at night? Sagun halted in front of Gopal and smiled. By any chance have you read the holy book or poti of Swami Akulput Maharaj? For a while Gopal was dazed. Why was Sagun asking him such a strange question so late at night? He replied that he had not read the holy book. Oh, then you must hear this passage. I found it very interesting. Standing on the side of the road, next to the wada, late at night, all of a sudden Sagun brought out the poti 
opened it and began to search for the paragraph. As he began to read the passage, Gopal froze. All that which was being read out described his state of mind perfectly. It was as though Sagun was being made to read a particular passage from the holy book that was meant only for Gopal's ears. The passage contained a particular incident that took place in the life of the great Swami from Akalkot, Swami Samarth. One of his devotees was going through extreme hardship. He was suffering from an illness which seemed to be incurable. No amount of medical expertise or medicine succeeded in easing the man's severe discomfort. He had begun to serve our Maharaj to be released of this illness and his ensuing grief. But, apparent, but apparently nothing brought him any relief. One day he concluded that he could not bear the suffering anymore and couldn't live another day with such intense pain. He decided to put an end to his life. One night when everybody was asleep, he jumped into the well. Miraculously, Swami Akalkot appeared and rescued the man from dying. The Swami looked at the drenched man and told him tenderly, All of us have to bear the suffering that is written in our destiny. Karma shall manifest its plan through illness, poverty, pain and loss. Suicide will not erase what is written in our faith. The suffering shall continue in this life or the next, in the physical plane or in the spirit. Till the karma is not complete, a human being shall keep taking birth after birth till all the accounts are cleared. It is best to go through one's lot calmly and to finish off the karmic debt peacefully and bravely, killing oneself is the worst possible way out. Reading this incident from the holy book, Sagun Said hailed Swami Samartha and Sai Baba, wished Gopal a good night and left. Gopal was shell-shocked. He knew that what had just happened was nothing short of a miracle. Baba had always said that Swami Akalkot and he were one, are one. Now it was proved to Gopal how true their oneness was and with that realization tears began to gush down Gopal's cheeks. He was certain that had Baba not sent Sagun at that very moment and if Sagun had not read that particular passage from the Maharaja's poti, Gopal would have killed himself by jumping into the well. Look at how the gurus work. Gopal's father, Narayan Ambedkar, was a staunch devotee of Swami Akulkot. Through this incident, both the Swami and Baba had worked in unison as one to not only protect Gopal but also to remind him that he should continue his father's tradition of worshipping Maharaj. Gopal began to read Swami's poti just like his father did and continued to pray to his Guru Sai Natha. Suddenly, he developed an interest in astrology which grew to such an extent that Gopal studied astrology and became a very successful astrologer. The days of poverty were behind him. Peace settled in his household. All was good and all well in his life, thanks to the grace of Swami Akalkot and our loving Sai Baba of Shirdi. Peace be to all. Swami Akalkot and Baba are one. May we see every goddess, god, guru, in our Baba Sai. Jai Sai.